My name is Stacy Andrews, and this is my story of self. Um, growing up, I was in all these gifted programs and was always told that I was super intelligent and uh, very advanced and everything. And I come from a long line of very poor, very uneducated people. Uh, my father was actually a high school dropout, as was my brother. And uh, my mom did graduate, but uh, that was it. And she was actually the first person in high to graduate high school um, on either side of my family, and I was the second one. So um, I came from a line of people where education was not a priority, and uh, we were very poor, and all pretty much thought of ourselves as stupid. So I grew up um, as this you know bright, intelligent kid that was always thrown into different classrooms and. They tried all this different stuff with me because it was the 80s and it was before we had as much knowledge of education as we have now. And I um, was always taught that I was very, very uniquely intelligent and that nobody had any idea why. My mother was the opposite of this. Um, she fully believed that she was completely incompetent and unable to achieve all but the smallest tasks. She did believe that she was a good person and had value uh, in church activities and homemaking and things. But when it came to anything having to do with intelligence, she was terrified and uh, would back off immediately and not really um, even try. Uh, she taught me and my brother that she was stupid to the point where, sadly, we, we would actually sing little sing songs about her that in... that kind of mentioned that she wasn't intelligent and we talked to her in some ways almost like she was a child. Um, there was one day when I was 19 years old, uh, about, this was about four or five months before she died, that my mother was setting up a desk for me. She'd gotten me a job at the place where she worked and she was setting up a desk for me and plugging in a radio. And the radio's volume was set all the way up, and so when she plugged it in, it started blaring, and she turned the volume down, turned the radio off. And I was in the next room and didn't know this was happening, and she comes running out to me down the hallway, and she's so excited, so proud of herself. Stacy, oh my God, I have to tell you, you're going to be so proud of, of me. Um, she said, I plugged in the radio, and it started blaring, and I didn't know what to do, and I stopped and said, Darlene, you can do this. And I took a deep breath and realized it was the volume and turned the volume down and fixed it. And in that moment, I remember looking at her thinking, this, this is not in any way remarkable, but yet she feels it is. And I, I can't describe it, but in that moment, I instantly understood that intelligence is not a product of, of what we can actually do, but what we believe we can do. And I realized that all those things I'd said about my mom and that she'd said about herself and that we all believed about her were not true. And instead were just a product of what she'd been told when she was young or what she'd been told by her parents or, or however it was that she came about believing that and became a self-fulfilling prophecy. And that I'd gotten my intelligence from her. Um, sadly, she died a few months later and as I got to be older and got to be an adult, I began to look back on the things she did and realize she was remarkably intelligent, very capable, and that I likely did get that intelligence from her and that I never had a chance to share that with her um, and that she never had the chance to believe in herself. And I decided um, in honor of my mom and also in honor of other people that I was never going to let somebody just believe that they're dumb ever, ever again and that I would always tell people you are intelligent and I believe that you can do this and maybe you have to do it a different way maybe it takes you a little bit longer but I completely believe that you are just as capable as me or anyone else and I've done that consistently um, in the job that I have now I was tasked with um, taking athletes who frequently believe that um, they're dumb because they believe in the stereotypes and I would sit with them and tell them this exact thing and I've now worked with several athletes who initially came to me saying, I can't do college, I'm not smart, I, I'm lucky I graduated high school, who are now doing well in college and have worked with me and have worked with our professors to be able to believe in themselves and believe that they have those opportunities and, and capabilities. 
Um, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing Teach for America is because I want to be able to do that um, and spread that among kids as well and get them, get them young before anybody tells them that they can't do something and let them know that I really believe they can um, because I don't really want anybody to spend their whole entire life thinking that they can't ever again. Um, and it's very sad that that happened to my mom and I will do anything I can to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. Thank you.